Hello everyone, welcome to our video on maximum demand and diversity. Now before I get into any calculations, let's have a little explanation as to what uh, maximum demand and diversity actually means. So an easy example is your cooker at home. If you use your cooker or you've watched a family member use the cooker, you'll notice that not all of the hobs and the oven and the grill are on maximum all of the time. So you may be using one, two or three of the hobs, but they'll only be going up to maybe number two or three, and say so the maximum is six, so they won't all be on the maximum. One may be, but the other two or the other three may be lower down. And if your oven is on at the same time, uh, maybe your oven goes up to 300, 320 degrees, that will only be around 200, 180, and maybe your grill isn't even in use. So the oven, although it's in use, it is not running flat out, which means it's not drawing its maximum amount of current that it can be. So if we were to size the cable for the maximum amount of current that that cooker could draw, our cables would be huge and it is unrealistic to have uh, th these equipment, equipment like cookers, to be drawing the maximum uh, amount of current that they can do, which is why they've come up with maximum demand and diversity. Now if we're going to look at the on-site guide, uh, we'll go to the maximum demand and diversity page. So I just flicked my Maximum Demand Diversity page, uh, my tab that is Appendix A, um, page 135. Um, it gives you a brief explanation there on Maximum Demand and Diversity. And if you turn the page, this is what's important. Um, page 136, 137 and 138 um, have got tables that we will need. So first of all, let's have a look at a cooker question. So on your screens, you will see the question. It says, calculate the maximum demand, uh, the maximum current, uh, uh, the demand current drawn. So I buy a cooker in a domestic installation, allowing for diversity. The kilowatt rating of the oven elements are as follows. And we've got an oven as 2.5, a grill 1.9, there's a front hob, and there's two of those, two times 2.4, and two rear hobs at 3.8, all in kilowatts. And the last bit says, including your calculations, that a socket outlet is incorporated into the control unit. Okay, so, let's have a look at page 136 in Appendix A. So table A1, if we look down, uh, one, two, three, four, five. So fifth one down, it says household cooking appliance. And then on the second column, it says the first 10 amps of the rated current plus 30 amps, or plus 30 of the remainder of the rated current plus five amps if a socket outlet is incorporated into the control unit. Okay, so let's write down some numbers and let's see how we'll work this question out. So we've got, let's, so what we need to do is first we've got to work out our total power. So we had an oven at 2.5 and a grill, so let's just add them all together. At 1.9 and there were two hobs, two front hobs at 2.4. So 2 times 2.4 is 4.8, so plus 4.8, and then there was 2, uh, 3.8, so 3.8 times 2, I don't know who that is, 7.6. Um, and that equals 16.8 kilowatts. Now we need to work out our current. So we use our formula of uh, PIV. Transpose that, so we do power 
divide volts equals current. Yeah. Power equals, oh, so I don't know why I said we want the current, so it equals power divide volts. So let's input those numbers. So 16800 zero, zero over uh, 230. That is going to equal seven seven point seven three point zero four amps. So that is my total current. Now we need to apply the diversity that table A one said. So we take the first ten amps and we need to work out 30% of the remainder. So, we've got to do uh, 7, 3.04 minus 10 equals 63.04. And we want to work out 30% of this remainder. So, 30% of 63.04 uh, that equals to my calculator 18.91 and then we add the 10 first 10 amps we took off to this 30% of the remainder and the table A1 also says that if a socket outlet is incorporated into the control unit, we add an additional 5 amps. So my total power uh, equals, so total power equals, let's add them all together. So we've got 18.91 plus 10 plus 5. And that equals uh, 33.91 amps. And that is the total. So I would then count, I would then use that for my, if you're doing a cable calculation, that would be my IB, and I would choose a cable that could carry that uh, current, that just under 34 amps. And that is how we work out maximum demand and diversity on a simple cooker circuit. Thank you for watching the video. Remember, we've got plenty of other videos on all of the other tests that you can do, and there are also many videos on cable calculations and all sorts of things that you're going to need to know to complete level 2 and level 3 in electrical installation. Now if you want my tabs that I have on my BS7671, visit the website electricalstudent.co.uk where you can purchase those. Also on the website, loads of free stuff, loads of practice tests, mock exam questions and such like. Working with electrical installation guys, remember, be safe, most importantly, listen to your lecturers, he or she definitely knows best. Take care guys, see you soon.